No connection found. You don't have any internet on your PC. It could be on your laptop. It could be on your PlayStation 5. It could be on your Microsoft Xbox. How you doing, fam, man? This is Chris Mitchell here. I want to have that issue quickly resolved. It's probably one of the most annoying messages that you can run into. If you tried any of these methods, feel free to go down in the timestamps down below because I do have them. Also, if you need anything that I do mention, make sure you go down in the description box because I also have it down there as well. You should get some sort of signal on top of your device right here. And as long as if you're getting Wi-Fi signal, that's a good sign. But if you notice that you're not getting any Wi-Fi signal on any of your devices, then you know immediately that it's going to be a Wi-Fi issue. Another thing that I do have to mention, if you're running on a cable internet connection, it could also be the modem. So what exactly do you do in a situation like this? The first step I do recommend is to try to clear out your Wi-Fi, try to clear out your router. And by doing so, that could resolve your issue and it may even boost your internet connection, especially if you notice some sort of slow speed. So the first thing you have to do is disconnect any Wi-Fi devices that you have in your house. I know that's pretty annoying, especially that everything is on Wi-Fi now, but make sure you do because this will help clear up the connection, especially on your Wi-Fi router. So disconnect anything that's connected to your Wi-Fi, including your TV. Just make sure it's off. You don't have to make sure it's the plugs out the wall or anything like that. Just make sure all those devices is off, including your PCs, your laptops, and make sure you just hit that Wi-Fi button on your phone to make sure that it is disconnected. Once you do, you may not have a power button on your Wi-Fi, but if you do, make sure you hit that switch where it's completely off. And if you wanna play it safe, feel free to disconnect the power cord. And if you do have a cable modem, make sure that the cable modem is also disconnected. Most of the time you're going to have to unplug it. So just unplug the power from the modem. If you have a power button, you could also press that as well. Now make sure you stand by for about five minutes. Many, many unbearable moments later. Just like this video. But anyway, start from the cable modem. If you have a modem, if you don't start from the Wi-Fi router, make sure it is fully booted. When you see the steady blinking light, that you have a steady internet connection, then you can connect to any of your devices and see if you have a internet connection. If you do, that's great. You resolved your issue. If that helped, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. But if it didn't, well, just hang in there because we're gonna try to figure this out still. Now we go to step two, if that doesn't resolve your issue. Sorry it didn't but I am still gonna try to help you resolve this problem. This is also a relatively simple sound that fix. Now move that device that is having the Wi-Fi issues closer to the router. Are you getting a connection then? Try moving your phone first and see if you got Wi-Fi connection, even if your phone's right next to the Wi-Fi router and see if it does. If it, Then you know it's more of a range issue. If it's your laptop that has an issue, move it closer to the router. You have a desktop PC, I know your router may be pretty far, but I suggest that you move it before you move it. I know it's heavy. I know that thing is like 30 or 40 pounds already, or 20 to 30 kilograms. Instead of killing yourself and carrying a desktop PC, make sure you have this device connected. And you're probably wondering, what the heck is that? And that is actually your antenna. That's for your Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth. Not only did not connect this antenna to your desktop, and you're wondering why you're having such an issue with the range, have your antenna hooked up to it. You won't believe how much better your connection will be. Wherever your router sits, you don't wanna sit it mainly on the floor anyway in the first place. You wanna set it somewhere high because typically the signals travel low anyway. Signal does not typically raise from the floor, so please have your router in a very good spot where it's table length, even though if it's in another room. And try to make sure the door rooms are open because that will actually improve your signal, believe it or not, especially depending on what your house is made of. If it's concrete, if it's plywall, doesn't matter. You want to make sure to have a the easiest connection possible and try to set it towards the middle of your house so that way all your devices can be connected. 
Now, if that's impossible for you to do, then I would suggest getting a mesh router. Check down in the description box down below. It will actually extend your Wi-Fi range. So that way you have a better connection. So you can actually set up two or three Wi-Fi routers, especially if you live in a place, two or three floors, that can dramatically improve your connection. Make sure that your Wi-Fi is in a reachable area for your desktop. This is going to be special on laptops, desktops, this can also happen too, is go to step three if you do not see any type of Wi-Fi signal. Hopefully this will resolve your issue. So go down to step three. For those, especially on Mac or Windows, make sure that the Wi-Fi is completely off. And what you're gonna do is for Mac, make sure to give it the latest update for Mac OS, and usually that should resolve its issue. For Windows, there are a few other steps that you will have to take for A. You're gonna want to go to start, go to device manager, and then you're going to uninstall your Wi-Fi adapter. I promise it's not gonna go completely away. Try to hook up your ethernet if you can, if your device can take an ethernet cord, that is always a bonus. I know a lot of Apple devices you can't, you're gonna to have to use USB-C to ethernet wire, or now they have USB Wi-Fi adapters. The other option you can also do is you can also tether Wi-Fi or tether via USB through your phone. A lot of phones feature this and you can get a decent internet connection enough to where you can download the necessary driver. You can try it on your MacBook and you can also try it on your laptop as well. Then you know for sure that it's definitely a driver issue and don't worry, don't panic because again, it's easily resolved. Once you reboot your PC, see if it reinstalls the drivers correctly, see if it starts working, because it's gonna automatically do it for you. If it doesn't, don't panic. You have the ethernet wire hooked up to it, or you have the Wi-Fi adapter hooked up to it, and you're going to go to the proper website in order to download the driver that you need for your adapter, whether it's Intel, Qualcomm, Broadcom, any of those manufacturers, whatever that Wi-Fi connection says, for example, mine will say Intel Wi-Fi, I'm going to go to Intel's website in order to download the correct driver. Or if you built a PC, or if you bought your PC, you can go to that manufacturer. For example, I used a Asus motherboard, I go to Asus's website in order to look for the proper driver to download for my Wi-Fi. And once I download it, open it up, install it, and more than likely that should resolve your issue. Now, if it doesn't, you have a more serious problem, unfortunately, and more than likely, it's going to be a problem with that chipset. You might have a problem with your Wi-Fi. So if it's your MacBook, unfortunately, you're gonna have to take it over an Apple store. Same thing with your motherboard or your PC, that more than likely it's going to be that chipset. You're gonna have to get it sent in for repair. Bam, bam. Guys, I hope this resolved your issue with your Wi-Fi problem. And feel free to ask any questions down in the comments down below. Question. Oh my, God. my grandparents left me a large number of armoires. If you haven't already, share the video to a friend, especially if you want them to be able to play Black Ops 6 with you or you want them to connect on the internet with you. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not part of the big, wonderful fan man, Make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell for all the newest updates. Make sure you follow my X handle right here as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.